slight wobble thanks to the pandemic and the schedule, but we are back at the Premadasa Stadium for the second T20 International for the Coin DCX Cup, powered by Dream 11 and Skoda. India have been put in first to bat. 67 matches for Shikadawan and Bhuvaneshwar Kumar 50, but that is as inexperienced a side as you're going to see in an Indian lineup. And for the first time over the course of these two series, we are seeing Sri Lanka more experienced than India. Rataraj Gagwat will be opening the batting. I recognize him, he plays for the Chennai Super Kings in the IPL, and then of course the captain who is still around, Shikadawan. Didn't win the toss again, the Indian captain has just won one of the the five that have been on offer. Great shot for four. Over the top he goes, Gaikwad doesn't allow him to settle. Jeez, great shot. Well, that's cut away fine. I suggest you run. No need. Bad advice. Four runs. Well, here's the problem. There's the boundary. So three singles and a four, and already now the bowler is under pressure with two deliveries remaining. Oh, cut away very smartly. Does that have enough? Come on, Chase is on. And I think Akila will win. Yeah, it's a sluggish outfield today with all the rain, with all the water being deposited. Oh, up in the air, should be easy for the keeper. And that would be the first wicket down for India. Had to wait and wait and wait and it just got the top edge. Easy catch for the wicket keeper. Rutraj Gaikwad goes for 21, India 49 for one. Will that go all the way? It will. Got plenty of bat. Dance down the track. Just dancing down the track. Good impact, good connection, and good direction to that shot, too. Got it? I think he has, you know. Oh, yes, he does. Wonderful way to end the over. 71 for one. For an instant, just thought it's a top pitch. Nevertheless, Parikal showing his class. It's very clever, very clever indeed. And knowing the uh, field sitting exactly there, Captain Shekhar Davan. This time, cross the line. Nicely played by Captain Shekhar. All important boundary, first delivery. A lot of pressure in the last next five delivery for Dasun Sanal coming up. He's running hard, he wants to, that's great running. That really is. Again, they run hard. Chikadawan wants to, he'll get it comfortably, very easily. That's beautifully placed by Padakal. End of the 12th, 81 for one. Got him! They like to go after him, but on this occasion, Dunajai is the winner. Big swing towards the leg side. No pace again. The ball never arriving to Shikadawan. But he's given his team a platform. 40 from 42. India 81 for two. Has he dropped him? Inside edge into uh, Minita Banuka, but I don't think you could call this a chance. One of those catches where it has to be uh, ballooned up like a huge huge oh, yes, beautifully bowled plenty of spin there 14 gone 88 for two miss hit this is gonna fall safely it does it does as that's been smashed Finally, some respite for the Indians. 
Top shot, top shot. Just cleaned him up. Vanindu Hasaranga, the number two bowler in World T20. He conceded a boundary. The first that he conceded in this game and the very next ball has the last laugh. So the third wicket for India going in the form of Devdat Padikal. Playing a big sweep, missing it completely. Just looking at the trajectory of that ball. He threw it up a lot more. He bowled it a lot slower. Saw him do that to Surya Kumar Yadav in the previous game. Got a good head on those shoulders. Vanindu Hasaranga, but Parikal's played well. 29, 99 for 3 India. <laughs> Another man got Sanju Samson lunging. And Akila Dhananjaya sneaks through. So another wicket down for India. The wickets continue to tumble. The struggles continue for the Indian players. They're trying different options, but just not able to come to terms. The leg break. Hit his elbow, rolled back onto the stumps. Mm -hmm. Second wicket for Dananjaya. Sanju Samson just couldn't get into the game. He's walking back for 7 of 13, 144. Oh, edge of the mark. Handy runs for India. Will it go all the way? Doesn't have the legs. Should get a couple. Nitish Rana wants three. No. That's cheeky. That's smart. Will it go all the way? No, again, doesn't. Plugs in the outfield. We had a lot of rain between the games. Hit straight down the line. Nitish Rana scampering for the second. Great work from Hasaranga. Inside edge. They'll take them. Effort, great effort there, wonderful effort. He's done a lot of running today, Akila Dhananja has chased down quite a few and pulls back this one too. Oh, that's smart. He saw him changing hands, pushed it right down the leg side. But Minod Bhanuka couldn't hold on. Will it be called five wides? Yes, they are. He switched hands so there wouldn't be a leg side. But when you look at the replay, you'd still see that it's gone almost very close to that indicator line that the umpires use. Slower one, should be taken. Covers, comes underneath. Dhananjaya De Silva is the man. So Nitish Rana, two goes. Dushpanta Chamira with his first wicket. Chamira bowls that slower one. Bowls it wide. Rana has to fetch. It was so impressive, Dushmanta Chamira. Nitish Rana. Not the free flowing Nitish Rana today. 9 of 12, 130 for 5. Full toss. Trying to club it down the ground. Again, managing to only find the fielder. Five runs of the 20th over, very good over. 132 for five is where India have reached. India, Gaikwa 21, Shikhar Dhawan 40. They look good at that stage for a score around 150, but then it started falling away with the spinners coming into it. Parikal 29, 12 extras in the 20 overs, and India 132 for five. Lots of bowlers used, eight of them in fact. Dusmanta Chamira, four overs for 23. Akila Dhananjay, two for 29. And Hasaranga's last over was expensive, but very impressive he was in those middle overs. And, uh, it's going to be Bhuvaneshwar Kumar, the lead bowler for India for many years. Still a magician with the ball, moves it both ways. He's got a slip save that Padikha, who earlier as a substitute took plenty of catches for India here. He's at a slightly wide slip. On the button straight away. 
brought it back in, but unfortunately for him, that would go for four. Fine leg was in. Ball coming in very nicely played away by Abishka. Driven through the gap. The captain will not be able to get to it. Didn't quite put in the dive. So consecutive boundaries for Sri Lanka. They've begun well now. Perfect cover drive. Lovely to see Abishka Fernando timing the ball. So gorgeously gets things going for Sri Lanka. Up, and that should go all the way. Magnificently picked up. Oh, taken in and brought back in as well. <laughs> wow. Rahul Chahar, what a fabulous effort at the boundary line. Okay, move forward nice and slow. Yeah, okay, roll forward, roll forward. Okay, I'm satisfied. First and the last touch within the field of play. Uh, yeah, it's out, download uh, on the okay, screen, screen, out, screen. out, repeat. Unfortunate, Alishka Fernando. Generally, you say bowlers picking up a wicket, but this time, got to say, it's a fearless wicket. What a fantastic catch. Under pressure, man in form. Avishka Fernando gone for 11. Sri Lanka 12 for 1. Ball and oh! Over the skipper at mid on. In fact, he was about 10 yards inside the circle. You never know, had he been on the edge, could have gone to hand. Fine leg was up again. Was played quite deliberately. Maybe not that fine. But you know, he helps himself to another boundary. A bit of bounce to that, and uh, it might go for four. But Vinesh Kumar giving up the chase. Boundary of his first ball. It was banged in short. Oh, he's found the gap. He's found the gap beautifully. Placed it nicely. Yeah. Got him. Beautifully bowled. The length is probably correct this time because he's got it correct. And the batter's played back when he probably could have been forward. And this is why he's more comfortable with that length. You can't pick him off the seam because it's a scramble seam, a length where the batsman not sure to whether to get on that front foot or the back foot. He's walking back, he's only got eight. Sri Lanka now two down for 39. <laughs> big shot for LBW, big, big shot. They could ask for it because he was across his stumps, Dasun Shanaka. He's promoted himself in the batting order. Kuldeep wants it. Was there any glove in it? Cool deep. No, they just not want it. They don't take it. Nothing there, nothing there. Oh, you boy. Cool deep. India have missed a trick here. A massive one. Oh, yes. Yes, they needed this. They needed this desperately. Brings up the 50. Got him. Got him. Done. That's the skipper. Bulls it shorter. Gets it to spin. Not bad, Sanju Samson. Very, very smart. Third wicket down. Third wicket down. Kuldeep Yadav gets his man. Should have had him in the previous over. But he does this time. Shanaka, he comes, he goes for three. 55 for three. Jumping down again up in the air. That might fall safely. No. Oh, pops out. He done all the hard work for Baneshwar. He was running to the side. But uh, having done all the hard work, perhaps he should have taken that. Popped out. It was swirling. Up in the air again, who's going to get it now? Deep square, deep mid-wicket. 
Easy. This time, perishing. Nicely bowled by Kuldeep Yadav. Much slower. Vinod Baduka had to make all the pace, but just meant to find the top edge and get find Rahul Chahar at deep in wicket. All important wicket for India. Vinod after a good knock, 36 for 30 in 31. Back to the pavilion and Sri Lanka 66 for four. Oh, very good strike. Hard, straight, but uh, a good run around and he'd once again done all the hard work. Sakarya should be very upset with himself. He is. Is that long enough? Yes, it is. Over the very tall Dave that Padikal at long on. Terrific strike by Dhananjay. What a useful player for Sri Lanka. First six for Sri Lanka. Just pressing that uh, accelerator. Finding that long on boundary. Oh, straight behind him. Is that all the way? One bounce. Up in the air and off his last delivery. Rahul Chahar picks up a wicket. Isn't he delighted? Saranga is uh, not particularly amused with that reaction. Manindu Hasaranga slashing outside the off stump, getting that thick outside edge. This time, Bubi holds on to it. Hasaranga, a good knock, 15 from 11. Does not do it for Sri Lanka today. They are 94 for 5. That's gone high. That's gone high. Should be taken. And has been taken. As you mentioned, taking him, taking him on. That's the longest part of the boundary, but doesn't make it anywhere near the boundary line. With Mendy's gone for two, 105 for six. That should be four. The first time, pace on offer, width on offer, and being dealt with. Oh, full toss, and that's gone a long way. Possibly slipped out of the hands of Bhuvaneshwar Kumar. And what a crack from Chamika Karuna Ratne. But you've got to put it away, and does he put it away nicely? 12 of 9, Sri Lanka close in. Such an important hit. That's in the air. Will it fall over Kuldeep Yadav? It does. Couple of runs to finish the over. 12. And a very good one for Sri Lanka. 125 for 6. Oh, again, a bit of a misfield. Again, a couple of runs. This is not great work from India. Short. And pulled away. Should get a couple of runs. Pace on it again, the bigger side of the boundary. So this is a good innings from Dhananjay De Silva. Scores are level. Shikhar Dhawan doing the right thing, the fielders are in. And they scamper through for that single. Sri Lanka take the second T20 international and the series is alive. Well, a win is always great. It makes you feel happier and gives you positives. Gives you a good feeling, just like that. Brings out the smiles. It brings out the joy. So that's the match summary in the second T20 International. India having asked to bat first, 132 for five, courtesy a 40 from Shikhar Dhawan. Padikal on debut, 29 of 23, but nobody got going. Akila Dhananjay, two for 29. Dasun Shanaka 1 for 14, Chamira 1 for 23, Hasaranga 1 for 30 and in reply Sri Lanka winning this game by 4 wickets with 2 balls to spare. Dhananjay De Silva unbeaten on 40, 